Did you know that Infamous 2 has DLC? Well, it doesn't. You see, because this technically is not DLC, it's a standalone game, and it's, it's called Festival of Blood. So let's play it. Huh? How about it? Beer, please. Make it two. On me. I'm perfectly capable of buying my own beer, thank you. Good. Glad to hear that. You can get the next round. <laughs> you are not from around here, are you? What makes you say that? I would recognize such a beautiful pair of eyes. Maybe you were too busy reading your kitty books to notice. This? <laughs> this is no kitty book. This is research. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to owe you that next round. Hey, 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 I'm being serious. Now, there's some freaky deaky shit going on out there. What kind of shit to make you piss your pants. This book here teaches you how to deal with it. <laughs> okay. You know my, my buddy Cole McGrath? He used to make fun of it, too. The Cole McGrath? One and only. The Demon of Empire City. That's what they call him. <laughs> you know Cole McGrath. Know him? He's like a brother to me. A brother from another mother. In fact, it's this here kitty book, as you call it, that helped me save him from eternal damnation. Really? Mm hmm Tell me more. Well, uh, you know about Pyronite? Can't say that I do. <laughs> oh, man. I knew you weren't from around here. <laughs> Every pyre night, the folks in Numeray go certifiably apeshit. They put on costumes, build big old bonfires in the streets, and dance around them till sunup. Me and my boy, we were there for the last one. We couldn't even get a beer before folks started howling out for help from beneath the church. Now, some folks might say that Cole McGrath is a bad guy. Ain't nothing farther from the truth. Back then, if folks were suffering, he'd be right there to lend a hand. We were getting decorations from beneath the church, and the ceiling started falling in. I think there are more folks trapped down there. Hey, don't worry. I got it under control. It was cold down in them catacombs beneath the city. They were first used for crypts, then the Underground Railroad, and then some bootlegging. <laughs> yeah. They got used for pretty much everything. The thing is, the folks who went down there kept disappearing. Well, they do seem to be having some problems actually leaving. Door's right there. And you guys are just kind of running around. You should probably go go through the door. No, 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 no. That, that's, not, that's not the way out. Oh, whatever. So you should probably get out of here. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Just go right. The door's right there. Just, no! N why why aren't they leaving? I'm gonna out. Okay, listen carefully. Down the hall. Make a right. You can't miss the door. Ah. Uh. I can't do everything for these people, okay? They need to have some self-preservation. So it looks like we got the Magnum Bolt. That's not a bad bolt to have. I think there are more people trapped up ahead. 
Everybody's trapped. You guys just don't want to leave. I gave them very simple instructions and they didn't follow them, so it's really not my problem if they get killed. Get out safe. So for Halloween, you decided to dress up as a douchebag. Interesting choice. Anyone else in here? fingers and got him. They'd opened up a vein in his neck and started dripping blood into some matchstick of a corpse. Cole's a conduit. He's superhuman. And his blood? Whew. It did the trick. And her bite was like a pit bull with syringes for teeth. The more she drank, the prettier she got. Other vampires started crowding around, chanting her name. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Yeah, Cole's blood had brought her back all right. And in return, she gave him a little something on the side. I hear they named a cocktail after me. The Bloody Mary. Oh, God, I hate that name. Worse yet, it's served with breakfast. When was it ever acceptable to drink before five in the afternoon? Oh, well, my dear. Control you now. In fact, come sunrise, all of your free will will be mine. Screw you. Don't try raising a hand against me. I will not allow it. So, as I'm sure you noticed from the little exchange, the writing in this is just fantastic. It's on point, it's, it's top notch. It's not goofy as fuck at all. I mean, so she, she wakes up, and she's like, Hey, vampires, wh what, what was going on in the world while I was out? Well, you see, there's this drink. <laughs> Young fool. Come on. I read Dracula. I know how this works. So new enemies, they're vampire men, and... Let, let's just leave this one alive for a little bit to let them do some stuff. They can teleport, they got... They have crossbows, sometimes. <laughs> Guess next time I hold my breath. And to kill them permanently, you gotta do that. Knock them over and then melee them. You know, I don't know why we're so worried about her getting away. I mean, judging by all the other people that couldn't get out of here, I don't think she's gonna be able to find the door, so... I mean, this is probably gonna be fine. Oh, you'll regret that come sunrise. Staking other vampires won't make you any friends. Get out of my head. I mean, staking that first vampire was fine. Nobody liked him, he was a dickhead. But but those other guys? Man. That, that one vampire gave to vampire charity and was trying to cure vampire cancer. Dude, you really shouldn't have staked him. That was a mistake, Cole. Big dummy god. Have oh, fine. Enjoy your last night of freedom. Because once the sun rises, you'll be my pet. Maybe I'll dress you up, put you in a nice pea coat like the rest of my boys. Oh, you'll look very dashing. That sounds okay. Pea coats are pretty nice looking. Unless I'm thinking of a different kind of pea coat.
I guess that's what makes Bloody Mary so dangerous. She can actually get out of here. It's not as easy as you, as you think. Apparently. Cole had made it out of the catacombs. He couldn't escape what he'd become. He was thirsty. Cold and drunk or dry. He didn't choose to do it. The instinct had taken over. But the blood was now on his hands and in his veins. You're one of us now. Embrace your new life. It's wonderful. So this is pretty neat. You can fly. Delightful, isn't it? Of course, to fuel such powers, you'll need more blood. Rivers of juicy, warm, human blood. Drink them dry. The blood of lovers is a taste to be savored. <laughs> okay, Hank Hill, that's great. So new crap on the HUD, you got a heart, it's the blood meter. That's it. Keep your strength up. My children are going to test you tonight, and I want to see what you can do. I've never had a subject with abilities like yours. Oh, you're such a treasure. Hey man, where you at? Been off the radar for a while. Zeke, I, uh, I got bitten by a vampire. <laughs> really? Do you look more handsome than normal? Do teenage girls suddenly find you irresistible? Hey, I'm serious, Z. I, I try fighting back against the vampire who bit me, but she gets inside my head and, and, and takes control. Bloody Mary says that come sunrise, I'll be your slave. Oh, okay. Look, brother, we've been through weirder stuff than this. Now, can't be a coincidence that they showed up on Pirate Night. There's gotta be a connection there. What with all these demon decorations and whatnot. Yeah, okay. That's a start. Hey, maybe I'll run into a few vampire groupies while I'm out there. Hey, yeah, it's the spirit. So do they think the corpse is a prop or something? Because they're not really worried about it. Also, something wonderful about this game is that Cole will now look at people that you can bite. And, of course, it's janky. It is Infamous 2, after all. Did you know? Guys, did you know? Did you know that you can press up? Did you know that you press up to use Shadow Swarm? Were you, were you aware of this? So a little fang icon, obviously, is gonna be... It's gonna be some vampires where you can go and just go murder them. We need to do that, because we got a power to unlock. We kill some vampires. <laughs> So the vampires are actually really dangerous. The crossbows are kind of terrible. So we do need to exercise caution around them. So we gotta go somewhere. Somewhere northeast. But maybe, you know, we could stop and take in the city a little bit, because Numeray does look very different. Totally missed that on purpose. I was trying to get down here, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So Shadow Swarm is really handy for getting around. But you, you, know, you can't you can't use it a whole lot, and you don't get incredibly far with it. It's a good power, though. You know, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it or anything. So we're here, looking for something. I, I guess. 
I mean, Cole wasn't really prompted to do any of this, but whatever, we're doing it. Something here to check out. This is the quietest band. I mean, it's just one dude with a sax. That's it's not much of an ensemble. You expect some drums, guitar, or something. Father Ignatius Demon Slayer. He sure is. So why are you here? Like... No, really. So the problem with the crossbow is that it has kind of a wide, you know, shot. Oh, there we go. And they do reload it pretty fast. There's also this other vampire man who has those those blades that he can throw. Give him a chance to do that, maybe. Also, sometimes vampires will take human shields, but who gives a shit about that? Look, we have the red bolts. We're obviously evil. Hey Z, I just saw a banner of Father Ignatius smiting demons. Anything about that guy? I know he's got a badass mustache. I've seen a statue over by the cathedral. You thinking he had some kind of technique for dealing with the blood guzzlers? Yeah, I just hoping it works without having to get ordained. That with chastity and all that. <laughs> ah, abstinence. I sure wouldn't know anything about that. Long nights alone, staring at a bikini magazine. <laughs> yeah, that's boring territory to me. Okay, good talk. Demon, vampire, same thing, right? Well, I mean, demons are easy. You just need Ruby's dagger or, you know, exercise or whatever. That ain't hard, come on. So you want to make sure that you take out all the vampires you can, because we don't need to just kill 20. That's just for the first thing. Of course there's more things to get, and it's going to require a lot of dead vampires, so... You almost have Punch Blast, though. So something you may notice is that we can't, like, heal people or drain them anymore. We can feed on people when they're down, but we can't, like, do anything else. Our hand powers are kind of gone. Also, you will also notice that Festival of Blood doesn't actually have experience, because we don't really need to buy stuff. Like, when we get Punch Blast unlocked, we're just gonna get it, and it's gonna just replace our existing Blast. Which is actually not a very good thing, because the Blast we have is a little... Uh, what we have is a little better. So, you know, you don't need to worry about any of that. There aren't any stunts in this game, either. Not really a good thing, but whatever. So we gotta check out the cathedral. And since Zeke did mention something about a Father Ignatius statue, we're probably looking for that, right? Now, where would that be? Probably that it right there. You know, the big, kind of important-looking thing right there? That's probably it. My girls were eager to meet you. <laughs> Try to keep your arms and legs attached. Wait, wait, wait. These females went out partying in the same clothes. What is this bullshit? Upside down. It's kinda hot. So they have machine guns and grenades and that's bad. They are kind of hard when they're not just standing there not doing anything. There we go, we got punch blast. And it just replaces our normal blast. We can't like switch between them. So that's a thing. Hey, you got him too. It's only fair. No! Oh, 
Nope, stay right there. Just, okay, there we go. Idiots. <laughs> You're dead. So who's the idiot here, huh? Really looking like it was Ignatius who torched Mary way back when. But I've got to figure out how he got close. You know what? They got the Legend of Pyre Night show going on by the clock tower. And I'm pretty sure Ignatius is in it. That's kind of like the Nativity at Christmas. Except in this one, it's all about demons and fire. It's for the kids. Uh, so how does Cole know that Ignatius Bye. killed Mary? Or, well, temporarily took her out? I mean, he just saw a statue. He didn't really have any information on it. Just saying, you might be jumping to conclusions. Even the completely accurate conclusion that that is, you're still kind of reaching. Just, just, you know. So we can go check out some kind of, some kind of play, I guess. I'm sure that all the information provided will be completely accurate. Nothing will be exaggerated just for the sake of theatrics. No, it's going to be completely 100% legit. Okay, take a seat. Uh, uh, oh, here's a free one right here. Just completely freed up all of a sudden. Let's take it. Now, how do you sit? You can do it, Cole. I believe in you. Just, uh... No. Hey. 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 This is my seat. God. People in this town. Jerks. Okay. This is how Cole sits, you see. Come on and let me take you all back in time, friends. Back to the early days of Moon Ray. The streets of our town were filled with laughter, and the people were full of hope. Till folks started disappearing from the streets at night. Only one man, Father Ignatius, was brave enough to walk in the shadows, hunting for the devil who would harm his flock. And it was from the shadows that he spotted her, a vile. Feeding on a man's flesh. And as fast as a thought, she was gone. Taking refuge in the crypts beneath the city. That very night, Ignatius rallied his fearful parish to action, leading the way down into the crypts. And as they came upon the nest of sinners, he held aloft his holy barbed cross. And the sinners scattered like cockroaches from its holy light. But their leader, Bloody Mare, she wasn't fast enough. Ignatius brought her up before his church and tied her to a pile. And as flames licked at her heels, the devil woman revealed her true form while shouting out a curse, vowing that one day she'd return and take her revenge. And what happened to Ignatius, you ask? Well, he's still with us, my friends. Buried in St. Charles Cemetery, right alongside his barbed cross. And that's why we burn, my friends, to warn Bloody Mary's ghost and all the other sinners of this world to stay clear of Numeray. You can dance, sing, Walk the streets, cause nothing, and I mean nothing, is gonna eat you on Pie Night. <laughs> All right, Z, I need you to look up where Ignatius is buried in St. Charles Cemetery. Turns out, he was in tomb with some sort of vampire killing relic. No problem. All them goths love to make cemetery maps and then put them online. Man, I'd love to get me a goth girl. All that eye makeup, that'd be like kissing a raccoon. Woo! That's hot. 
Haven't we been killing vampires this whole time with our, our steak? Is it not steaky enough? I guess it's not steaky enough. My friend had been a hero to these people. He had protected them. And now, they were just fuel. He was stuck. Didn't have a choice. If old didn't kill Mary before sunrise, she'd have him and everyone else converted by the end of the week. The truth was, sacrificing a few folks was the only way to achieve greater good. But damn, if it didn't take a chunk out of that boy's soul. Every single bite. Yeah, Cole is really tortured about it. He, he just look how torn up he is when he rips their throats out. Also, yeah, the lady vampires are gonna be around now. That's great. <laughs> You're dead. It's hilarious. But that's it for now. Next time, we're gonna check out the cemetery. And try to find some intel on Father Ignatius, I guess.